Hey, what's up my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here and today we are going to check out a new trailer for an upcoming movie called Big George Foreman. So for those of you that don't know, I am a massive boxing fan and have been my entire life and George Foreman is, well, more than just a guy who makes some killer grills. He was uh, an amazing boxer and... Well, I won't say exactly what happened with him because you'll have to watch the movie to see that, but he has a wild and very interesting story that has to do with his arc of becoming champion and all that. So let's jump on real quick. We'll watch the trailer and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about who's making the movie so that maybe we can get an idea as to whether or not it's going to be good. So if that kind of thing sounds good to you and you want to see more trailer reactions just like this one, make sure you subscribe. All right, without further ado, the first official trailer for Big George Foreman. Here we go. Big George Foreman, the miraculous story of the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. Listen to me, George. You got a punch like I've never seen. <laughs> but in every battle, the greatest foe hey. that we will combat isn't here. Good old Forrest Whitaker. You live one way your whole life. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. George should change his name from Four Man to Poor Man. <laughs> to hurt. That's rude. <laughs> What's my name now, fool? Foreman is the new heavyweight champion of the world. Where's all that rage coming from? Don't have any rage. And it becomes all you know. Let's thank God for the food, y'all. I bought the food, mama. George Foreman ain't no okay. new champ. He is the new chump. We gonna get it on. Oh, is that how we? We gonna get it on. Okay. Foreman goes down. Who said that? You ain't said nothing, George. Okay, what's going on here? A little cheesy. Your heart stopped. We thought he was dead. I was. I'm done. I'm not going to box anymore. Do you know what you're walking away from, son? I don't want to spread the word of God and what I saw. Huh. How's being a preacher going for you? It's hard. Harder than getting punched in the face. Sometimes it feels about the same. Hey, fella. Come on and enjoy yourself. Power company said we never paid the bill. Really? There's only two things I know how to do. That's box. Oh, my preach. God. And preach you won't pay the bills. So you cheesy. Maybe something once, Doc. You can do it again. I feel like they're it spoiling the whole thing. To win the heavyweight championship belt again. Last time they saw me, I looked like Superman. <laughs> so now you look like the Michelin Man. This ain't no beauty contest. Nice. Michael Moore, he's 26 and unstoppable. How can you beat that man? Foreman is considered an old man in this young man's game. It's now. Oh, it's never. Okay. I have some thoughts. Mr. Foreman, that funny little grill deal you signed is starting to generate some substantial checks. Really? Yes, it did. Now, I'm just surprised it shows a big old fat guy like me to sell a beer <laughs> to help people get lean. <laughs> April 28th, okay. So, a couple of thoughts on this. One, George Foreman's story, if you actually know his story, is incredible. The you know, And they pretty much spoiled most of it in this trailer, which is kind of annoying, but I guess when you're dealing with something that is a true story there's no real spoilers because it already happened and we all know about it so i don't really like that they kind of just gave you every single beat of the entire story in the trailer and there's a lot of it that looks kind of cheesy and formulaic kind of like your typical sports movie that we've seen a million times but i'm i'm interested in it i looked up who is directing the movie and it's george tillman jr whose name you might not recognize but if we look at the movies he's worked on some have been good some not so good. Uh, his big break was directing Soul Food, which was very well received critically. Then he went on to direct a movie called Men of Honor, which is one that I love. It's uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. And um, oh, man, I forget who else is in the movie. But basically, I think it's based on a true story. And he plays a Navy diver uh, way back in the day. And he loses a leg and he wants to continue to work as a diver. But there's a whole situation where it's like well we can't have you in here you're you're too injured you won't be able to do it so it's that kind of 
you know, feel good story about somebody accomplishing something really difficult. He then went on to direct several years later, N- Notorious, which is the Biggie Smalls movie, which was, it was all right. So he's got a few good movies under his belt, some decent ones. And now it looks like he's going to be taking over this George Foreman movie. He is both writing and directing it. And then the person you have starring as George Foreman is Chris Davis, who I'm not super familiar with. He does look a little familiar. It looks like he's was in the new Space Jam movie, which was not very good. Uh, He was also in a few episodes of Atlanta, so he's been around for a little bit, you know, seems like a reasonable enough actor, so we'll see how he does in this. But yeah, I'm definitely going to check this out. I know the movie has been pushed a couple times, but now it looks like they've settled on April of this year, so we'll see what it's like in theaters. Let me know what you think, though. One, are you a boxing fan like I am? Are you familiar with George Foreman's story besides the grills, of course? And are you looking forward to this movie? Let me know everything you think in the comments below. I definitely want to hear from you. And of course, if you want to see more trailer reactions just like this, make sure you subscribe. Lastly, if you want to support me and the channel, I have an Amazon affiliate link at the very top of the description below. If you use that, if you plan on buying anything on Amazon today, just click on that link first. Doesn't cost you anything. And it just gives a little kickback to me and the channel to help support all of this to keep it going. So thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.